Flexible Warriors. It's Kara Dubs with FlexibleWarrior.com. I get a lot of requests for stretches for tight hips, among other things, okay? So I'm going to give you three quick stretches that you can do uh, while you're watching football, it's March Madness, while you're watching basketball, whatever it is. You can sit, instead of sitting on the couch, get off the couch, get on the floor, and just do a few quick stretches while you're watching your favorite sports, okay? Make sure you're warmed up first. It's good to kind of warm up the hips, the low back, quads, hamstrings before you do any stretching, okay? So um, first and foremost, sitting on the floor, sit up as tall as you can. If your low back and your hips are an issue, then support with your hands behind your back, you know, so you can open your chest and uh, lift your spine, lengthen your spine a little more, or feel free to sit up on a block or a pillow or something to elevate your hips, okay? First stretch, we're gonna take your right foot across your left knee, just like this. So this is gonna get this hip. Okay, if you're really lifting up your hip a lot, try to drop that hip down. Again, don't strain it, just drop it to the place where you feel a good stretch, okay? Take the opposite hand across the knee and the other hand behind your back. You're going to sit up as tall as you can so you're lifting and opening your heart, lengthening up through your spine, and then you lead with your chest, twist, and then very gently, okay, with just a little bit of um, force to draw this knee up and towards this opposite shoulder. You should feel a real good stretch through the hip. I know I do. Okay, so a couple breaths here. And this again will twist the spine. It's a nice uh, spinal twist, plus you're getting a good hip stretch. I think you're feeling it, right? From there, you can unwind from that slowly. Take your hands behind your back, support. Don't unfold your legs, but just step that folded underfoot out in front of you. This is seated pigeon. Okay, so again, supporting with your hands behind your back if you feel rounded in the spine. Lift up your chest, okay? That's part of the pose, keeping the spine extended and the heart open. If you're feeling pretty open and you're doing okay with this stretch, you can walk this front foot a little closer to you so you feel a little bit more intensely. Okay, not too much. And if you want, and it's okay, okay don't force it, take the elbow under the foot and the other elbow under the knee. If that strains you or causes any discomfort, then back out of it and bring your hands out behind to support your back. Okay. From there, you're gonna extend your front leg straight. You're gonna put this foot back on the floor, grab around just like you did the first set. It's a little different variation, lift up through your chest, and again, twist. This time, if you can continue to twist through the neck and the cervical spine, look over your shoulder behind you, and again, continue to hug the front knee towards its opposite shoulder. All right, breathing in and out through the nose. And I'm gonna take you slowly out of that. If you can hold the poses longer, great. I'm just taking you from one to the next. Sit back in easy seated pose. We're gonna get it quick on the other side. Sit up tall. Take the opposite foot over the other knee. Getting the other side again. Level the hip bones the best you can. Sitting up tall, open the collarbone. And take the hand across the knee, other hand behind the tailbone. Sitting up tall on an inhale, twist. Lead with your sternum and your chest towards the side of the room. And uh, you might have to adjust yourself accordingly so you can still see the TV at the same time, right? Okay, but we're, we're multitasking and it's good. Otherwise, you might not make the time to do it, so it's okay. All right, a five breath cycles for each pose is ideal. So let's do one more breath, sit up a little taller. And then again, gently pull this knee towards the opposite hip, feeling it right in that hip. Unwind slowly from that. Take your hands out behind you. Fold that front foot onto the floor. If your hips are really tight, give yourself a little more space. Slide that foot a little further away. Support with strong arms. Press down through your hands. Lift up through your chest. Open up. And again, if you're feeling pretty good in the stretch, don't force it. Um, but if you want to do a little bit more, you can take your elbow under your knee and maybe support with your hand under your foot or grab this um, elbow under the foot and you can interlace your fingers. Again, only if it feels natural progression for you to do that. It's not a competitive sport, yoga. So sometimes less is more. All right, let's do one more breath here. Lift up tall. You can drop your chin to your chest if you want to and close your eyes. Keep one eye, eye open if you need to. Unwind slowly. And you're going to extend that leg straight. Take the foot across the opposite thigh. Elbow or hand across the knee. Other hand behind the tailbone. Sit up tall. Twist open, ring out the spine. Again, this is a spinal twist. Um, 
um, but you're getting a little bit of hip at the same time, it's ideal to flex that front foot. Use the strength of this arm to draw the knee gently towards its opposite shoulder. You can continue the twist through the neck and then unravel from that. Unfold your feet, sit up tall. Okay, so again, even if you're not going to do that whole sequence, just getting off the couch and sitting on the floor, working um, the muscles in your back and allowing the hips to stretch. Just easy seated pose with cross legs or if you want to do a butterfly stretch, you know, real easy. Whatever your body wants to do, that's what I would encourage you to do. Just get off the couch, take five minutes, commercial breaks, whatever, and stretch on the floor, okay? Thank you so much. Hope you're stretching. Namaste.